Hi everyone, so in this video we'll be learning about short division and long division. In the first part of the video we'll be learning about short division and in the second part we'll be learning about long division. And we'll see which one's easier to use. Okay, so our first question is going to be 729 divided by 3. So the first thing you need to do, so you take the first digit and you divide by the divisor. If you can't do that you take the next digit and divide it by the divisor. Okay, so 7 divided by 3, we need to know, we need to see how much times 3 goes into 7. So we can go 3 times 2, and you get a result of 6. So straight away, we know that it goes in 7 2 times. So 2 times 3 is 6, and the remainder is 1. So we put 1 at the top here. And then you go 12 divided by 3, which you get 4. And then 9 divided by 3, which you get 3. So that's basically short division. Okay, so now let's move on to another example. Okay, so now let's do 100 divided by 4. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, so we're going to try 1 divided by 4, which we can't do. So we move on to our next digit, and we're going to try 10 divided by 4. So how much times is 4 going to 10? So 4 times by 2 gives us 8, right? So it goes into 10 2 times, and the remainder is, of course, 2. So now we can go 20 divided by 4, which you should get a result of 5, and your answer should be 25. Okay, so that's short division. What about if it's long division? So I'm going to use the same examples and let's see if we get the same answers. So our first example we're going to use is 700 and 29 divided by 3. So 7 divided by 3, so it goes into it 2 times, and then you go 2 times 3, and then you get 6. Subtract 7 minus 6, 1, 2 minus nothing, 2. So the, so you get to this point. So you might be thinking, let's just go 9 minus 7, nothing. Well, you can, but I recommend you to go step by step. So if you make it to a point when you can divide by the divisor, do it. So 12 divided by 3, 4. 4 times 3, 12. Subtract. So you get to this point. So you get 0. Zero. And now this is the point where you bring down the 9. So we're going to bring down the 9 because we can't go 0 divided by 3. And now we can go 9 divided by 3, which you get 3. And then 3 times 3, 9. And now subtract, you should get 0, 0, 0 at the bottom. And your result at the top should be 243. If, if you got that right, um, nice job. Okay, so now let's move on to our last example for the day. Okay, so our example is going to be 100 divided by 4. So first of all, 1 divided by 4, you can't. So 10 divided by 4, we get 2. 2 times 4, 8. Subtract. And 10 minus 8, you get 2. 2, two, two divided by 4, you can't do. So we're going to bring down the 0. So 20 divided by 4, you should get 5. 5 times 4. 20 and oh sorry I'll do it again subtract 20 minus 20 0 so as soon as you see 0 0 you're finished and you check at the top what your answer is and if you got 25 you got it right okay so hopefully you enjoyed this video on short division and long division so in the comments below tell me which one you felt was easier